The crypto markets are recovering at breakneck speeds which is great news for all the investors out there. This week, we'll look at why the markets crashed in the first place and how much ground we've recovered and why we're bullish on crypto for the rest of the year. I'm your host, Chris Merkel, and this is Exodus Crypto News. Bitcoin has been staging an impressive recovery from its crash to $33,000. Ever since its low in mid-January, the world's largest cryptocurrency has been rallying hard. Recently, BTC topped out at $45,700, up 37% in just under three weeks. Ethereum is also recovering and at its peak was up 50% from the January lows. So why did the crypto markets crash so fast? Well, for the most part, it appears to be a correlation with traditional markets. The Federal Reserve announced that they would be raising rates to combat inflation, which caused the stock market to take a nosedive. Everything from technology companies to industrials to Bitcoin sold off as the markets priced in higher interest rates. But thankfully, the sell-off was short-lived and the recovery has begun. The S&P 500 is up 6% from its recent lows in January, and the NASDAQ is up 5%. Digital assets are also climbing the price charts just like stocks, but crypto has some strong fundamentals that are driving this bullish action. Now, for instance, one of the big four accounting firms, KPMG, recently announced that they've added Bitcoin and Ethereum to their balance sheet. Could this mark a new wave of institutional interest in digital assets? Well, let's hope so. And it certainly doesn't hurt that Tesla just announced that their 1.5 billion purchase of Bitcoin is now worth $2 billion. That's a huge profit and other companies must be taking note. Now, the biggest story of the day has to do with BlackRock, the world's largest asset manager. According to a recent Coindesk report, BlackRock is preparing to offer cryptocurrency trading services to its institutional clients. With more than $10 trillion in assets under management, this new crypto product could reach thousands of wealthy investors. In addition to trading crypto, products, clients will also be able to use crypto to collateralize their loans. Now, this is a relatively common service in the equities markets where brokers let clients use their stock and bond portfolios as collateral against loans. Now, although we don't know the exact date when BlackRock is going to make crypto trading available, we do know that it will go through the firm's Aladdin software platform, which stands for Asset Liability Debt Derivative Investment Network. Aladdin! Hello, Aladdin. Nice to have you on the show. Even though BlackRock CEO Larry Fink has made bearish comments on crypto in the past, it appears that the firm has done a 180 degree turn and realized the value of investing in digital assets. In addition to creating their own crypto trading platform, BlackRock is launching a blockchain and tech ETF and also owns 16.3% of MicroStrategy, which is a Bitcoin ETF in everything but name at this point. With prices soaring and new investors showing interest in the asset class, crypto could be well on its way to a full recovery. What do you think? How long until we get back to the old all-time highs? Well, let us know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, everyone. We've got a lot more videos for you, so just click any of these to keep watching. Until next time, hold along.